Hey, it's Scott and Jeff once again here to uh, talk a little bit about the greatest music ever. The reason why we want to talk about music briefly is because we we are um, in our early 50s. 50s. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for us, you know, the best music ever was uh, our music. <laughs> I mean, the music that we grew up on, and I'm sure it's the same for everybody. But today's music, and the reason that we've been talking about this is today's music, to me, the pop music, you know, the Billboard Top 4, basically what you would consider what, when I worked in radio, they used to call it contemporary hit radio, yeah. the hits. It's completely shifted and changed into this uh, hip-hop, electronic, um, prefab house, yeah. DJ, mixy stuff. You know, we're pretty much every... If, if, if we were to look right now, why don't you go ahead and pull up, while I'm talking about this, pull up Billboard. Okay. All right, so we're going to look at the Billboard Top 40. Uh, we'll look at the top, whatever, top hits. So th now nowadays, you know, rock and roll... Well, alternative and country and all these other ones they're all they always have been their own genres but I mean it's just the the, the main top 40 hits and you get all these songs that, from people we've never certainly ever heard of I'm, I'm old enough now that I can say that and it's always featuring someone there's you know there's always these collaborations with rappers and other hip-hop type people and uh, let's see where we're at here okay so number one is Drake now I have heard of Drake and I've seen Drake yeah. have you heard of Drake oh yeah Drake is a as a Canadian rapper, as you know. Uh, number two on there is oh Maroon, Maroon 5. Five featuring featuring someone Car Carol O'Connor Cardi B Cardi B. I don't know the song Girls Like You. Okay, never heard of it. Yeah, I, I mean obviously, if you don't listen to these things, you'll never hear of them. But uh, now, here's uh, number, number three. three is Cardi B, Cardi Bad B, Bunny, and J Balvin. Cardi B, Bad Bunny, and J. Balvin. Balvin. Um, number four, Fifi. Six, Five, X, nine, featuring Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. No idea. Number five. You've heard of Nicki Minaj. I've heard of Nicki okay, Minaj, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've never, I, yeah. What's number five? Better Now, Post Malone. Okay, number six. Lucid Dreams, Juice World. Juice World without there's, there's vowels. vowels. Oh, I don't yeah. know who. Which the, what's the name of the song or the band? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. And number seven, Sicko Mode by Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. Eight there's is another featuring Tyga featuring Offset. Number nine, LMA, LMA Booed Up. Booed Up. And number ten, DJ Khaled featuring, featuring Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber. Chance, Chance the, rapper. the rapper, and Quavo or Quavo. Now, Quavo is Quavo, but they don't quav down. Can we, can we talk about that one for a minute? Yeah. Oh. No Brainer by DJ Khaled. So a DJ, I'm guessing, yeah. you know, here's a guy who mixes other people's music. He might actually rap or sing. I don't know. I think I saw him once on The Voice or one of those shows. Mm -hmm. Maybe America's Got Talent. Um, but Justin Bieber I've heard of. Sure. Chance the Rapper, no. And Quavo, so you've got four different artists all combining on one song. Yeah. This to me, and when I hear, but I guess what I'm saying is when I hear kind of the popular music of the day, it just doesn't inspire me. It's yeah. all. It's like no one plays an instrument anymore. Yeah. No, no. It, I no, yeah, yeah no. I you're mean, right. they it's didn't all... in the '80s. Now we're, yeah. we kind of grew up in the '70s yeah. and '80s, and, and and in the '80s with new wave, which we loved, and all that dance music and stuff. Yeah. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot of analog instrumentation mm -hmm. either. No. But it seemed like it, there was still singing, yeah. and a melody. Yeah. And a bass player, and, and a guitar key player. key change with uh, your basic yeah. structure yeah. and a chorus. Yeah. So you'd have yeah, you'd have verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus. You know, and, and key so change, on, so bridge. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, there's a, there's a structure to it, which. Hey, listen. Uh, you know, if you want to do something different, be my guest. And and but I guess uh, so. Here, here's here's the long and short of it. Does this music blow chunks today? Is it as lame as we think it is? Just everything on TV. And, oh, and by the way, it <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. There's, there's not. I mean, there's not just the. 
you know, the rap and the hip hop and the cherubin and all that stuff featuring Nikki this and that. Yeah. There's also the the poser folk. Poser folk. Like the like the faux folk stuff. <laughs> it's these, it's these it's mostly women. Now men do it too, but it's mostly women and it started a few years back and I think maybe people are trying to like copy Adele or something. But you get oh, you yeah, get the yeah, yeah. women and the going. girls. You get yeah. the girl from America's Got Talent. I think that won it last year or two years ago, um, with the little ukulele, and she's just singing about being a girl with the ukulele. It's like an Adam Sandler <laughs> bit for women. <laughs> it's the Hanukkah song or That's something. Right, but but all these women that have to have this. I'm a daisy living in a field. And it's a field of wheat and barley. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But do you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, that, I do. That affected sound. Oh. Like it's not really, that's not how they really talk. That's yeah. not really, now no. that little girl, as I recall, actually did kind of have a scratchy voice and stuff when she talked. But like there's this other one that's on America's Got Talent like this year, 2018. And she's this British girl who's 13 years old. And she's demure and quiet and hardly says a word and just has this long straight hair and she just is so different. And it's just such a put on act. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she's doing her song and it's. <laughs> it's some sort totally of. Joe, different. It's yeah. like a Joan Jett thing. And she's got the voice, the gravelly voice. And she's. <laughs> and she's doing all these things. And I turned to my wife and I said, This is a girl who watched. Alanis Morissette videos, yeah, yeah. or or Joan Jett, or yeah. uh, you know Carol Kane, somebody, somebody. with kind of a, a, a rocking voice, yeah. and she's basically just made her own act that uh, she's copied these, yeah. these other women, yeah. and the people are going gaga for this yeah. girl. Yeah. And then my wife said, you know, I think she was on the British version of the same show, peddling her bullcrap there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's a sweet kid. Yeah. And she's talented at mimicry and aping yeah, yeah. imitating uh-huh but I, I i just doesn't come off as being who she really is and they're all just like you are so talented yeah. you're so good yeah. yeah and i'm like she is talented but but not original not original she's doing her yeah. impersonation yeah. of yeah. you know patty whatever or patty or, duke austin getting uh, possessed labelle yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you you know, you taught you when you said people are going gaga over it. I thought of Lady Gaga. Ah, look at and that. And the thing, and, and I don't necessarily like a ton of her music. There are a couple songs that I love, but you talk about someone who's original. And you know, she that started out, you know, doing what probably most people do at that stage. But now, you know, she she has this award-winning uh, album with Tony Bennett. You know, the duets and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah. she's just now she's okay. I'm past that, and now I'm really exploring and doing some really cool things so that's almost what you hope this little girl is going to end up yes. doing yeah yeah you know but so many don't and they just continue to do it. it's the same thing when you know when eddie vetter started with pearl jam everybody had to hear you know this deep yeah what voice. was that other group was stone it, temple it? pilots stone sounded temple pilots. exactly like because they all spoke sang like this yeah. you know <laughs> and uh, it's it's okay can we get past that phase yeah. now yeah you know and that was one thing that i never remember going through in the 80s sting was sting phil collins was phil collins yeah uh billy joel was billy joel there was no i gotta i gotta be a piano man and make songs like that everybody had their copy. unique voice and they stuck to it they, yeah. they, they, there wasn't a group you mentality had, you had neil diamond oh. who had his own unique sound <laughs> and he didn't even have to sing but you <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of not singing, you had Rick Ocasek from the car. You might forgot the journey ends. You've led, tied the knots. You made your friends. Yeah, what kind of know? a choice is that? But at least that guy and, was true to his sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He basically was Kramer, you know, 10 years before Seinfeld yeah, came yeah, out, yeah. you know, with just the look and the and he thin. He did some the, notes, but he had that talky, singy thing going on. So I guess what we're trying to say yeah. is, is, and, you know, I guess really what it boils down to, as mentioned earlier, is, is are, you know, are we just that old? You know, have we turned into just old men? Yeah. Or does the music blow as bad as we think it does? I mean, I think there's good groups out there. There's really talented people. They're just being bombed. They're, 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 they're getting lost in the shuffle because every little kid, every dreamer, or even kids who 
don't want to be rock stars can get guitar here or get guitar band uh, a garage band, garage band yeah on their Mac yeah. and they can produce sounds and songs and they put together little rhythms and syncopations and they can add stuff to it which is great if you're a genius yeah and and you have the gift but if you don't it's kind of just it's you're just throwing more out there and it's and it's it's making it difficult to find the people that are actually talented. Yeah, and, and this this idea of originality, you know, you talk about sampling, for example, right? And sure, I know that Van Halen, they did their own version of, of Pretty Woman, they did their own version of Dancing in the Streets, yeah. but they never took credit for that being their song, right? Obviously, everybody knew that it was, but the sampling thing where, you know, I'm gonna take a piece of a great song and add it to something that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna call it my own, no. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to get other people that are probably more talented than me to yeah, be featured yeah. on my thing, and I'm going to be a DJ who puts them all together. You know, it's just, is it different or is it worse? And I mean, really, that's because, you know, to us, it's different, but it's also worse. It's like, yeah, I, I, I appreciate and, and want to hear real talent. All right, to wrap things up. Who are just a couple of your absolute all-time must-have favorites? They're on your I, oh, your iTunes. Gosh. You listen to them all the time. They inspire you the most. You know. So for me, I always have to kind of break it up into genres. You know, I'm not even going to talk about classical or new age or anything Please. like that. I'm going to talk about rock and roll. Yeah, let's just do so, uh, Rush. I always definitely I always Rush. Rush. He's a Rush, you know. big big Rush guy. You know who I would say would be. And I don't really actually listen to a lot of his stuff, but I really love Jackson Brown. I mean, yeah. I have a lot of his stuff. I don't yeah. listen to it all the time. But he was he was just he was very simple, just a man and a piano or a guitar mm -hmm. with a really good little backup group and not a lot of hits. But he was right there in the beginning when the Eagles formed. Yeah. Glenn and Don were some of his best friends. They were roommates. They all kind of worked together. And the Eagles went off and got worldwide superstardom. And Jackson Brown kind of stayed in the mm -hmm. background a little bit, but yeah. still equally very talented guy. Yeah, yeah. Led Zeppelin. Led of Zeppelin, course. Yeah. yeah, get the lead out. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go with, um, who, who have I, who have I, who do, who do I say generally? Uh, you listen to a lot. Oh, ELO. ELO, yeah. ELO, I was yeah. Say. Jeff Lynn, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's, it's timeless to me. And my yeah. kids love it, and their kids, and their kids will love it. Mm -hmm. I'm not that old. For yeah, sex, but he's great. Yeah, he, Electrolyte Orchestra is great. Uh, what else? Pink Floyd. Yeah, yeah, I've never been a huge. I've never gotten into Pink Floyd. They, they, you got for me. I got to take them in doses, right? I, yeah. I don't listen to them all the time, but every now and then I'll pull out, you know, one of their. But talk albums. about unique. Yeah. You know, and I yeah. would say in in that vein of the late '60s telling stories on albums. You know, Moody Blues. Oh yeah. Has oh. some stuff that even through a couple of decades there, they had hits that yeah. were. Just kind of good. Yeah. You know, very good. Yeah. Um, I would also throw into the mix for me when it comes to rock, you know, Journey, Foreigner, Austin. Sticks, Boston, yeah. Kansas. Oh, These yeah. are kind of the staples from my, you know, uh -huh. from our era that just, uh, they filled arenas, stadiums. Yeah. And then and we were talking offline, you'd mentioned Beatles. And how do you, how do you, yeah. I mean, truly. Once you start, I don't know, for me, you start listening to the Beatles and it, it's hard to stop. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden I'll go, two weeks later I've been listening to nothing but, you know, well, the White it, Album or it's something. Because you don't get sick of them. Their songs yeah. are two minutes long. I mean, at the most, 2.30. Then when they get later on, they get some that are eight or nine minutes. But yeah. the vast majority of their hits mm -hmm. are just, like Beach Boys, they're just, oh, Beach yeah. Boys are Jeez. fantastic. Yeah. Beach Boys are genius. It, old yeah. uh, Brian Wilson was oh, just yeah mentally Out deranged, but boy, could he arrange some songs. Yeah. Yeah. I went with deranged and arranged just yeah. to kind of yeah. tie up that sure. loose end. Sure. Let us know who you like yeah. and if you agree or disagree with our assessment of today's music that it's a bunch of crap. And while you're at it, subscribe. Sure. <laughs>